Okay, so let's talk about the size of the wheels. They're 105 millimeters tall, 65 millimeters wide, and 72A durometer. The core is also Kegel pattern, so if you have Kegel pulleys, you can use these wheels. Now I have a lot of bigger street wheels, and I'm gonna tell you why I like the 105 boosted the most. Here are the very popular 105 millimeter cloud wheels. As you can see, the edges, they kind of slant down a little bit, leaving less contact patch as the boosted is very wide. Now to the left is the Evan 105. As you can see, they slant down a lot. When you have less contact patch like that, it makes it more carvy, but less predictable. When you have a wider contact patch, you have more predictability in your carves. You can see on the very edge of the 105 Evan wheel, it's not as wide. Now here's the Torque Board 110 wheels, which are obviously bigger in every way, but I don't really like these wheels too much. The durometer on these wheels are so soft that when I carve on uneven pavement, it breaks traction. Here are the Meepo 110s. I didn't really like these. They just felt hard and heavy, and they didn't feel that grippy. They just really weren't for me. Now here are the new Boosted wheels from Boosted USA. They're called Cali Rides Turn 8. I haven't tried these yet. I do know they're a smaller contact patch, but I will get to them. So here's my input why I think these wheels are so grippy and awesome. If you see the wear on them, they wear just like race car slick tires.
So I don't know what's gotten into me lately, but the past few weeks on my Instagram and my YouTube, I've been doing off-roading with urethane wheels, whether they're small urethane like the 85 Kaguamas, and I also did the Shark Wheels off-roading video uh, last week on my YouTube. Super fun, but you get tons and tons of debris inside your belts. But as you can see, I think I'm starting a new trend here. What do you guys think? Drop it in the comments. If you guys think I should do some kind of hashtag urethane off-roading type thing, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Just wanted to share these glasses with you guys i wear these at night rides and during the day they protect my eyes with bugs with the wind and they have a really cool yellow tint to it during the day and they brighten up the night rides so some quick stats about the b1 balrog while utilizing the 105 boosted wheels. I did 26 miles per hour with 40T pulleys, and I did 29 miles per hour with 32T pulleys. I got a total of 25 miles range with tons of off-roading on this board. The B1 Balrog is a great bang for buck, two-in-one board that's very affordable. Discount codes below. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.